So we have this great formula that the area of a kite is one-half d1 times c2, but we want to figure out why that's the case. To do that, I'm going to only focus on one diagonal. Focus on d d1, which divides our kite into two triangles. Then we'll find the area of each triangle. The area of this yellow triangle is going to be one half the base, which is d1, times the height, which is actually the left side of d2. So we'll call that d2l. So I find that my yellow area is one half d1 times d2l. Now let's look at the green area. Again, it's a triangle, so its area is going to be one half of the base, which again is this d1 diagonal, times the height, which is actually the right side of d2. So we'll say that's d2r. Then the total area of this kite is the area of the two triangles added together, so it's one half d1 d2l plus one half d1 d2r. I can factor out the one half d1, which tells me that the area is one half d1 times d2l plus d2r. Well, take a minute and look at this. d2l plus d2r is the entire length of d2, that second diagonal. So for our kite, the area is one half d1 d2. You could have also done this by using d2 as the main diagonal. It doesn't really matter. You come up with the same formula. What does matter is you remember that the area of a kite is one half of the two diagonals multiplied together. So let's actually find the area for this kite that we see on our screen. First, I want to find the length of both diagonals. This vertical diagonal is one, two, three, four, five, six units long, and the horizontal diagonal is four units. So the area of this kite is one half of six times four, which gives me 12 square units. All right, lastly, we are looking at the area of a rhombus. The area of a rhombus and the area of a kite are actually very, very similar. Again, we can draw two diagonals for this rhombus. We can draw D1 and D2. The area for the rhombus is 1 half D1, D2. We get the same formula and we get it for the same reasons. It's because we can divide this into two different triangles. find the area of each triangle, so this top triangle has a height that's one half of the D1, and the bottom triangle is also one half of D1. So we'll say D1 top and D1 bottom. When we put this all together, we'll end up with the same exact thing, that area is one half D1, D2. So for this particular situation, we find that D1 is four, D2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So area is 1 half, 4 times 8, which equals 16 units squared. Those are your three new formulas. A trapezoid, you find the mid segment, which is the average of the two bases. You take that value times the height. For a kite, it's one half of the two diagonals multiplied together, and for a rhombus, it's the exact same, thi same thing, one half of the two diagonals multiplied together. Now we'll look at some examples.